Blackbusters. Man, we back. I'm smiling. I'm, I'm going to be smiling all episode, all right? All right, this is Blackbusters, man. The best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. In the world, in the world. In the world, man. In the world, Craig. I'm your host, Big Ja, mm -hmm. and this is my co-host. Man, I'm undertone today. Undertone. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm undertone today. Yes, we got, sir. We got big hitters in the studio. We got big hitters, man. So, you know, and, so I'm going to fall back. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so I'm going to fall back and be yes. undertone. I'm just, I'm just undertone. Undertone. Today. Undertone is still important. Very important. <laughs> got to yes. know where to be under. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. Wait, Family. pause. That's what you say. Pause right. indeed. Thank you. It's all love. It's all good. Yes. I got I to learn to do that more no frequently. No worries, man. No worries. A lot of gay shit comes out my mouth. <laughs> pause indeed. Pause indeed. Pause right. indeed. Yeah, but I don't. I don't. I don't know how to like hit the, hit the trigger. <laughs> it's all good. Right, I just be talking. Right. But like spending time with, with Josh, I'll find all kinds of shit. I'll be like, man, I got some cranberry juice. Josh, like, pause. Oh. Right? Like, <laughs> so now you, you I'm, like, what? Yeah. Now I'm realizing how like <laughs> right, right. <laughs> how much shit I say that requires the pause. Right. Uh, so, so I'm just undertone today. I'm undertone. Just, I'm just undertone. Yeah. Beautiful thing, man. Mm -hmm. Appreciate mm -hmm. you, man. Now we here. We got a special guest, brother. Um, and I'm excited. Family, if y'all are fans of me, I, I got to say this because this is the first time I have somebody in my presence that I can say this about. I've been very much influenced by this individual mm -hmm. um, and his style of comedy and the stuff he's been a part of. Man, Big Ja Jade is – I've been watching this dude since I was mm – -hmm. since the movie came out, 2000. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's an honor to be in your presence, brother. I do this because you're one of the reasons why I do this. No joke. Oh, you know that's what what's up, man. I real, appreciate real, that, real, dog. real, I real appreciate rap. that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we got Brother Brian Hooks. <clears throat> brother Brian Hooks. I can barely <laughs> talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got Brother Brian Hooks <laughs> in the building, mm -hmm. man. It's I, I got to clap it up, man. Yeah, yeah. man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's man. what's up. I appreciate you having me, man. Appreciate you having me. And, uh, you know, I, I obviously respect and appreciate what you're doing Thank you. as well, man. So it's mm -hmm. a mutual respect, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. You man, a legend, man. Nah, <laughs> facts. You a legend, man. Facts. And, 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 and I know you'll get into it, uh -huh. but you a legend because, like, there's all of this like accomplishment and mystery surrounding you. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, you yes. know, like you've got years in the game. We've seen all the work mm -hmm. that, that you've mm -hmm. done, all these different characters. Uh -huh. But it's just almost like, did he produce it? Did he make it? Did he write it? Did you know? Right. But we, but I just think people just have expected you to to do all the things. Yeah. Right. I think we right. just think that anything that you've been in, you own in such a way mm -hmm. that it's like, yeah, obviously he directed it. Or obviously yeah, he produced yeah, yeah. it <laughs> because it's got his fingerprints right. on it. Like, right. his impact so much. So, Facts. hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell yes, yeah. Indeed, and man. on a podcast about mm -hmm. black movies, this is a honor for mm -hmm. you to be sitting and chopping, chopping it up with us. Facts. That's what's Big up, facts. man. Much respect. I appreciate that. I appreciate yes, sir. Yes, sir. Both and I know, it, I know it sometimes feels weird because even for me, <laughs> when people meet me and they're like, bro, your job, man. I, and they throw so many compliments. I don't want to make ever make you feel too uncomfortable, yeah. man. No, you just got to keep nodding your head. Like, thank oh, you. Yeah. Thank you. I just, so I'll try to keep it to a minimum. No, nah, don't minimize it. Keep it coming. Oh, okay, hell yeah. Tell, Boom, tell, I'm going to do that then. Tell me how good I am, man. Tell me how good. No, 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 no. That's what it is, man. So I'm going to give you your flowers. Pause. <laughs> he paused this now. Uh, <laughs> it's not. It's we get it. You, it's, it's not. I mean, I so mean, giving flowers is okay. You, giving this, no, his thing. You'll say. You'll say pause. And you'll just say it fast. Yeah. It's never. It's never because yeah. it's not. Yeah. It's not outwardly wrong to yeah. say. I'm not. I'm and, not and, saying and, like gay. Like, like you know. I'm just like. We're like, here to give you your flowers, bro. Pause. And then you keep going. <laughs> Pays on love and he's so, 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 so funny. You gotta be smooth so with funny. it. Right, I'm yeah. working on it. I'm working yeah, on it. It's all good. It's, I'm working yeah. on it. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> right. That's so funny. That's and it's ridiculous too. Yeah, yeah it's good yeah, for the record. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But now it's all in my head. Yeah. Pause. 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 Okay, I'm done. Pause. Pause. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm done. So, so, uh, family, we are going to be reviewing the film Three Strikes. Mm hmm. Now, Three Strikes is one of my favorite films, and I'm not just saying that because you're here. Word, word, I, I got word. homies, my boy Dotsy, my boy Daniel, my boy uh, <laughs> Lee, all my partners I grew up mm -hmm. with, they know that this is how we feel about the film. Word. So it's been, it's been the film I've rocked since um, I was a freshman in college, bro. That's what's up, man. Yeah, so, and when I, when I, when I think of certain things I've been, I, I do in my comedy and in my sketches, um, and when I write, it, I'm, in, I'm influenced mm -hmm. by... Brian Hooks, Three Strikes, uh, Martin Lawrence, obviously mm -hmm. Jamie Foxx, Eddie Murphy. Uh -huh. But like when I watch this film, when I when I see clips of this film being 
being uh, spread throughout the internet. And I'm like, man, and some folks don't know the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, the crazy yeah, thing about it yeah. is, um, I don't see how I, I don't. That's I'm, I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Right. About like why, possibly mm -hmm. why, because it's not not from lack of humor mm -hmm. or lack of funny, or this yeah. a dope ass hood story yeah. right. told that's super super uh, relatable. Mm -hmm. If you live in the inner city. You know what I'm saying? From anywhere, whether it's LA, whether it's New York, whatever. Right. Like being being a dude getting out of jail after having mm -hmm. two strikes already. Right. right. And you know, that the the, the shenanigans and the answers yeah. that happen yeah, to yeah, keep yeah. yourself from going back for yeah. the third. Yeah. It almost uh, like seems yeah. like they stopped making those kind of movies Come shortly on. thereafter. Yeah. We right. gotta figure out why. Yeah, there, there was a there was there was a lot of them, but I almost kind of feel like three strikes was like yeah, the last or one of the last kind of movies like I that. I promise you. And there's yeah. never been anything else. Right. Like the the last one that we kind of got was dope, and dope. that was this very like studio and stylized yeah. version. Yeah. Right. But it's almost like they we stopped making. I don't know if it was just West Coast hood nah. movies or hood adjacent movies, where just yeah. this kind of movie just stops getting made. Yeah, right. I think especially the West Coast, that West Coast genre from like the wood. Uh, mm -hmm. Three Strikes Friday, one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. uh, even even though how even house parties, mm -hmm. right? You know what I'm saying, but like uh, maybe you can add to that. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute mm -hmm. about like why that is. You right. Know? Um. I, I I have my theories, mm -hmm. but uh, I want to start by just at least asking, um, where you're from and what made you get into acting and production and stuff like that. Well, hey, I'm sorry you might have asked this, answered this question. Yeah, so no, years, no, no. Well, I was born and raised in Bakersfield, California. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Small little country town uh -huh. in the middle mm -hmm. of California. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. It's, you know, country in a sense. A lot of people be like, you from the South? I was mm -hmm. like, nigga, I ain't know I had an accent. Yeah. Like, yeah, right. country <laughs> and nigga, boy, oh, you yeah. got an accent. <laughs> okay. So, um, you know, it's a very different feel. It's more of an extension of the Bay than L.A. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I came out here to go to school, college. Got out okay. of Bakersfield. Mm -hmm. Cal State Northridge. Mm -hmm. And then from there, mm -hmm. um, while I was in school, you know, I was like, shit, I'm in the epicenter of entertainment because I was been a fool. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, right. you know, class clown, all that. But there's right. only so much you could do from Bakersfield. Right. So once <clears throat> I landed um, at Cal State Northridge in Los Angeles, I was right here in the epicenter. Right. So from there, I just started to try to get my feet wet, right. submit myself through Drama Log, mm -hmm. which is back then, which is now Backstage West and all okay. that good stuff. And uh, one thing led to another. And through self submission, seven auditions later, I got the movie Fat Beach. Yep. And so from Fat Beach, you know what I mean? Things start to snowball and happen. And um, I was sort of uh, in the mix. Right. And then, of course, from there, um, you know, I connected with some uh, cool people. And then uh, that led it to my independent thing because I was in school to be a math teacher. But I kept theater class, and then I ran into my buddy Barry Bowles, okay. who, um, you know, we he was in the film program there. And so we would ultimately link and connect, and um, we made this small movie uh, called Q the Movie for like 13 grand it was. Mm. And when we finished the movie, it was absolutely horrible. Okay. It was horrible. Okay. <laughs> but it was 90 minutes, and it was funny. And it was coming off the heels for Fat Beach that went through the roof on DVD. Right. So Xenon Entertainment was like, why not? And mm -hmm. so they took it, and that $13,000 film made $800,000. And then we was like, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. You yep. accidentally on purpose did something right. good. Right, 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 right. <laughs> like, The beautiful <laughs> mistake. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's uh, awesome. Slip and fell in some gold. Right. right, right, right. And so from there, man... We had enough common sense to like, you know, let's try it again and again and again. And it sort of uh, changed the game in the sense that, you know, the next one, we made nothing to lose for $100,000. And they stopped reporting once it got to like right. $4.2 mm -hmm. it, 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 it got real snaky yeah. after that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Very so I say that to say who knows where it ended up. Right. But it was movies like that that turned the studios to where they start saying, wait a minute, you know what I mean? Because they seeing these numbers. It's like right. some of these movies that we're not necessarily going to do sequels to, mm -hmm. right. we already have an audience. Imagine if we shot it, you know what I mean, on a modest budget right. and didn't take it theatrical and take on that overhead and put it straight to DVD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's when you start seeing like, God damn, when, when they do, you know, uh, yep. you know, Lucy Goosey part two, you right, know what right, I mean? Right. You was just like, you didn't hear uh -huh. because they didn't. Put it. They just did it and dropped it. 
and it was just all you know what I mean? All surplus, all yeah. all in the green. And right. so they got that from seeing the numbers of the shit that we were doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so studios even start to mimic and change their whole thing to where they can make money, man. And so it was just this whole little thing that, man, and, and you know, at the time when we were making all these films at a certain point, it was like, dang, you know what I mean? Like, well, I got to make all these films, mm-hmm. two hands tied behind my back. But right. what I didn't understand, you flash forward, that it was a gift. And it was like giving a baby diamonds. They don't mm-hmm. know. And they, they throw that shit out the window. Right. They don't They don't know what it is. Yeah, At the time, that. I didn't know what it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But God, it gave me a gift to teaching me how to make a film from start to finish by myself if I have to, how That's I crazy. want, when I want, with who I want, and sustain myself. Yeah. Right? That's and all. so, you know, you get to now when it's such an independent, friendly time. and I can make a movie with my eyes closed. And a lot of brothers who don't have that, they spinning, they moving here, they trying to move there and waiting for somebody to call. So I didn't recognize what a gift it was right. back then, even though I was in it, flash to now to where, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm not waiting on anybody to eat. Right. And a lot of people can't say that. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And so it was just a huge gift, man, to be able to, have that and do that and to be here now with that. And it's a different path because, you know, what they show you is, you know, because most artists don't know the business side and they right. just, you know, you, you say you want to be on a billboard and broke or, you know, nobody know who you are and you have a billion dollars. They're going to give me the billboard. Like, okay, dumb nigga. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and so because they tell you this is success, this right. is superstar, you know, so... When I make my movies, I never make what studio makes, right? right. So if they make ten dollars, I might make five, six, mm-hmm. right. three, but it's all mine, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. you might not see my face when you're rolling down Sunset, but I'm good. Right. Mm-hmm. My kids are good. Yeah. My family is good. Right. And for some artists, it's hard for them to like. No, nah, I need to be on the billboard. I need them to <laughs> see me, <laughs> right? Yeah. And right. that's great, but. You have to define success for yourself. Or right. if you chasing the success that somebody else made up with mm-hmm. lies with this man, you know, mm-hmm. you know, who who don't know you, don't care to know you, in order for you to achieve your ultimate goal, he gotta say okay. Mm-hmm. Right. So he could tell you anything. Right. Which a lot of times they do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I was never willing to do that yeah. like anything man. Right. you can't tell me anything right, now. right is it good enough yeah it's good enough but you know like nah i'm not gonna pretend to be right anybody i'm not nigga mm-hmm. not even for five minutes right. not for two minutes right. not for right now All right you know what i mean and so while most people are willing to do whatever they have to do to get on the billboard. I was like, mm, nah, I'm just going to keep on going around. You sure that he's mm-hmm. coming here? It's a shortcut. I'm good. Yeah, uh, I'm y'all good. seem like, mm-mm. Yeah. I ain't have my kids hearing about that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the journey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the oh, journey right. yeah. and the path is different. It's longer. But, you know, again, a lot of people, because artists have been a certain way, I need for you to see me. I need for you to know I got a whole lot of money. Mm-hmm. I need for you to know I got cool. And they don't even want it if you don't know that. I don't want no money. Give me that. With me, mm, nah, it's great because I can use that to elevate what I'm doing. Right. But, you know, I'm going to keep pressing these up. You know what I mean? Right. And, and people who fool with me going to fool with me. People who like me going to like me. Right. And that's it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I can sustain and I can make a plan to where I can be okay. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And whatever comes on top of that is gravy. Is extra. You know what yeah. I mean? And so that's sort of been the path, man, and, and where I'm at. And people, you know, they really didn't get it back then. Like, why are you making movies and you making your own movies and so on and so forth? But now they get it, you know what right. I mean? Because a lot of them just waiting for somebody to call, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? They'll, you call them, be in a movie for $500, you know, sitting, waiting. And all those folks at one point came to me and said, how do you do that? All of them. How right. do you do that? Damn. Let's do it to whatever. And mm-hmm. I gave them everything. 
I never heard from them niggas again. <laughs> it's a lot of, lot of days, you know, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? Damn, man. Which, which man, is cool. That's crazy. Man. But, you know, that's that's what it is. Like, I'm about to leave this interview right now to go work on some shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Hey, like, you know, nothing else yeah. make no sense, yeah, man. Yeah, like, I, like mm-hmm, I'm listening, man. and mm-hmm. then it's, it, it's, it's so interesting because while I'm listening, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a cover art for all the different things that you've done. Right, all right. the different mm-hmm. pieces, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like, your words and what you're saying, like feeling the backstory for it. Right. And suddenly it's like I under I see the machine. Yeah. Whereas before, like you said, you don't see the cadence. Why are you doing that movie? Why are you doing da 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 da? But now that like you pull the curtain back, it's like, man, there's a whole apparatus happening here. Mm-hmm. This is not by accident. Nah, this is by design. design. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's, That's dope. dope. And everybody ain't gonna like it. Mm-hmm. No, nah, that, that, that's, that's but, what you gotta be okay with. You know what with. I mean? But you have to, it's, it's your, your thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's just your shit is your shit. Right. Right? Yeah. And no matter what you doing, people yeah. say, Kevin Hart ain't funny. Nigga, yes, yeah. he is. Right, right, right. To somebody, <laughs> you see them stadiums? Right, right, Come on, right, right, man. Right, right. Do you see them stadiums? That's the first thing I say when people, oh, he's oh, he only there because he's popular. Yeah. Okay. Who would say How'd he get popular? He's not funny. Busting his no, no, ass. some people say yeah. that. Yeah, some people right. say yeah, it. It's yeah. just like, we're, you know what I mean? They say mm-hmm. such and such. Yes, they is, man. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can it's say not that funny to you. not funny to you. Right, Say that. But don't say, do you see them stadiums? Yeah. See, he's in Budapest. Budapest. You don't even know what that's at. Yeah. Willa Coochie, Georgia. Yeah. Willa yeah. Coochie. Willa Coochie. Where that's at? Mm-hmm. <laughs> knock it off. Right, you know what right, I mean? Right. So I say that to say no matter what <laughs> level, people going to always have an opinion. And they say it. But so. you have to figure out what you doing and what's right for you. Mm-hmm. Everything else will be. Everybody's burn journey is different. Right. It don't matter. No matter how much you want it to be a certain mm-hmm. way, your journey is your journey. Yeah. You exactly. know what I mean? What's for you is for you. Yeah. Your journey mm-hmm. is your journey, for sure. So did yeah. you want to... So... Acting wasn't enough, right? Because, like, you know, you're coming out of CSUN. you always been a fool. You know what I mean? So, obviously, there's a performer there. Mm-hmm. Now, you could have just gone the 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 acting agent route, mm-hmm. but you had stories that you wanted to tell, right. too, right. Right? right? So, like, how did you navigate that, like, between, like, who were your idols? Who were your inspirations? Did you have any? Mm-hmm. Were you just kind of, like, blazing your own path? Like, when you were very mm-hmm. early and a young man making those decisions— like what was your what was your north star? I think I think I was I was just always been very business minded, and most um, you know people, actors and actresses are just um, you know the foundation is always a little you know they're not business people. That's why right. I say, oh, you need a manager. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and so for me, I, I have been business minded. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. So you know business shit always made sense. You know what I mean? Which is to an artist, it's just like I want to perform. And I want to do what I want to do, but not for me. You know what I mean? So making my own films made a whole lot of sense. You know what I mean? Especially once we seen it can work. And then the idea for me of just waiting for someone to come get me right. or waiting for someone to pick me. Lesson, you know, right? I just got it right off the back. Like just just waiting for someone to pick me. Mm-hmm. I was like, mm, nah. I, don't, I don't think I can build right. A future mm-hmm. off of that. You know what right. I mean? They may or may not pick me. And then you have all these other obstacles that come into play in this industry because it's a little very goofy. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's, yeah. And it's also mm-hmm. the one industry where your input don't determine your output. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. You mean mm-hmm. I can work super hard and still not? Damn. You know what I mean? You know, it's a lot of it's about who you know and what you're willing to do and, and when you're willing to do it. And so it was just too unstable. So I figured out a way to like, yo, if I'm creating these films, then I can create stability in an unstable business. Right. You know what I mean? And so for me, I was like, okay, I'll go over here and I'll make my films. And, you know, when it's time to go and, and do the studio stuff like The Beloved and mm-hmm. the Eve Show and Fool's Go and the stuff like that, then I'll step out and do it and then come back and still yeah. keep my thing. That's what worked for, for you. me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> just sitting and waiting, it just it, it didn't make sense right. for me. You know? Yeah. So a lot of times people say when they don't see somebody that oh he or she fell off mm-hmm. or he or she uh, what happened to them. <clears throat> but as opposed to like there's so much especially now, there's so many avenues of getting your own content now or right. being in the, even in other mm-hmm. content. Right. 
this is like, I, 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 there's so many shows I have never seen before and they're on season five. Right. <laughs> right. Even heard yeah, of. Yeah. Right. So right. <laughs> um, the fact that it, you went from doing the, uh, uh, the Eve show and I think I saw one of the interviews that you was like, man, I was cool. I, you enjoyed that mm -hmm. um, for that. It was steady. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. And so is it, how real is that to where you made, you made a statement like a lot of people do. There's a lot of things folks want you to do that I'm not comfortable doing. Mm -hmm. And that might have stifled my trajectory as just an actor in mm -hmm. bigger stuff and other projects. Did, 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 you, did you experience that? Right. I mean, for so so people hire their friends mm -hmm. and they people like if if I'm about to do something and they say, you know, it's, you know, John Doe or Ja, I'm like, Ja, I know this. Mm -hmm. yeah. the podcast, I right. see the thing. Mm -hmm. So that's a natural right. instinct. Mm -hmm. So if John Doe is hanging out in the circle with the people who are doing, you know, the weird stuff, the crazy stuff, you know, the drug stuff, and so on and so forth, when it's time to work, they probably going to choose somebody who, right. who's, in that world. I mean? in that who's in that circle, yeah. you know? Brian going to be looking at us weird. Mm -hmm. He the only one in there mm -hmm. not doing the weirdo shit. Yep. Yeah. He got to right. go. Mm -hmm. He's going to tell on us. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and right. he making me feel uncomfortable <laughs> yeah, about right. the dumb shit I'm doing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 right. He's just mm -hmm. sitting in the corner sober right. looking at us. Nigga, right. he yeah. got to go. Right. Right, right, right. We should bring him on this thing. Nah, man, because we were, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's uncomfortable. So, that's if, so you're not, crazy. Yeah. if you're not in those circles, you're not, you know what I mean? Then mm -hmm. it's a, which is, is, man, it's not right, but I, I get it. You get it. Because I'm, I'm not going to do it. You right, know what right. I mean? I'm not going to, you, you know what I mean? It, yeah. I'm not going to pretend that I do drugs for the evening. I'm right. not, none of that. Right. Right. right? So, you know, I'm not going to do circle. drugs for the so, evening. That's right. a great line. <laughs> Woo, I'm so up. Woo, right. Damn. Right. What is it? Yeah. Right. 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 Is, is that dang? Right. Is that dang? Right. 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 <laughs> now I get it. You know what I mean? So when it's time, when they making stuff happen and doing that stuff, man, they picking from, you know, mm -hmm. the folks yeah. that they know and have fun with, which is, you know, is right. it right? Is it wrong? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but. You know, I, know I, I wasn't one of the people. So so when you talk about stuff like that and, you know, what you've done slash what you've done, and that comes in to play. And then sometimes it's just, you know, um, like, you know, you see a lot of my peers in my class, so to speak, uh, you know, in position to do whatever. They're in position to give anybody they want a show mm -hmm. or bring anybody they want on a team. And the idea that I'm not... In none of that, mm -hmm. I don't think it's because I'm not talented. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Nah. I, I don't think nah. it's that. So then it's it's like, well, well, why, why, right? Why, like, if you, because you know, I can help with some right. stuff you right. do. I can mm -hmm. help boost it, or I uh -huh. can create a whole nother avenue of revenue for you. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so why are you not doing that? Right. So that's a whole other thing you know yeah. what i mean I, I, you know it's so I, I just feel like a lot of people don't even want like i, I, don't, I don't even want you seeing him you know what i mean because i'm trying to do my shit makes so sense. i thought i don't well, want you seeing you know so it's a crabs in the barrel type thing and you know it's so so it's just a a very goofy right industry man and nah. you got to sort of figure out what you want and what you okay with and go for there and understand that because it always is not your talent, you know, a lot of time is who you know, mm -hmm. right. what you know, and what you willing to do. Right. You know what I mean? I remember going to a concert. Uh, I won't say, like, the name and all that stuff, mm -hmm. but I went to a concert of, like, a legendary group, and one of the members is never there. And I'm like, dang, man. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you see uh, people from the 90s or mm -hmm. 80s or whatever to, to now, and you look at them, like, okay, life didn't beat them up. They didn't got mm -hmm. on narcotic. They, mm -hmm. narcotic. they didn't mess around and drunk themselves into a whatever. Right. And you can tell by how they look, how right. they sound or right. sing or rap. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just off. It's done. You know right. what I'm saying? They're like a ghost of themselves. Mm -hmm. And then come to find out, I'm thinking this is what happened to this particular member of this group. Mm -hmm. And he the only sober one. Wow. Mm -hmm. He's the one wow. that don't rock with them no more because wow. they didn't turn into yeah. this wow. whole skeleton of a crew. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's sitting That's back crazy. sober as hell, look way better than they do. It can't and can't be down. Wow. Can't be there. Can't be down. I love them from a distance. Like, mm -hmm. bro, I just can't wow. be down with you. The way y'all moving is just 
can't be there. It was like That's we crazy. saw young, we was coming up doing our thing, mm-hmm. but like y'all worse off than y'all were. Y'all didn't get better with time. You right. know what I'm saying? And, right. Mm-hmm. Like you look at the boys to men, they look great. They sound great. They yeah. sound like they, they, they just sound like the radio still. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you see some other groups. I, I love R and B, so I mm-hmm. go and watch. I, I watch everybody from the '90s mm-hmm. and the '80s. They still, yeah. they still mm-hmm. performing. And I'm like, you can tell the ones who have taken care of themselves. Right. You look like you've taken care of yourself. Kind of right. chewed right. on. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, t- and sometimes. Uh, burnt edges and shit. <laughs> burnt edges. <laughs> <laughs> burnt edges. Right. And some people. Five you know, heartbeats. Yeah. Right, right, right. Dang. Yeah. Dang. You try to be. Yeah. Not <laughs> <laughs> like this. Right. I wish. Right. Still got the fuck. And so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he, he played the hell out of that, it's man. It's a great crackhead. Mm. <laughs> right. right. It's a great. <laughs> right and but what you're saying makes sense for someone i mean i've been doing my thing on the on the social media level and uh it's always i've always i i feel the same way you feel mm-hmm. about that i don't, I don't I'm, I'm a clean i'm a straight lace i don't drink or smoke no Neither no do I. no disrespect mm-hmm. i or, never or, have right you know what i'm right. saying and, and no do disrespect both. for uh <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but here's the thing. Hey, my, my whole family smoked i yeah. stopped smoking in 10th grade yeah i stopped smoking weed mm-hmm. In the tenth grade, you know, what I'm saying that's how the life I was living as a youngster. But yeah. I'm the youngest of so many older siblings, right? So I did everything early, you know, what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So now I've I don't I don't have a need to. Don't knock it, you know, what I'm saying. I'll be around people who do it all the time, right. yeah. Right. You know no saying? judgment, all love, yeah. Not just at ain't all. your thing. Like, this, this ain't my thing. Never been. And so yeah. And then moving forward to people who have unlimited. When you get to the point where you get to a certain type of level in your career mm-hmm. and you have access to so much other stuff, the women, the drugs, the mm-hmm. yeah. cars, and, and folks lose that their mind. Scary. Mm-hmm. And and, and so you, and yep. I'm like, I, I, well, God willing, I'll never be tested or never become become victim to mm-hmm. my own, uh, my own, uh, what was, uh, like, uh, your own vices, weaknesses. Your own, yeah. Right. Yeah, so right. Like, I think, you know, to, to kind of go down that road with your it's abuse and now it's, it's changing your life. Mm-hmm. Do it to it. Enjoy yourself. Have it fun. Do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. As long as it don't take you out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot right. of folks will self sabotage yeah. themselves with the vices. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'd rather go the route of, of creating what I want to create, right? love it, and put it out. And people might love it. People might not like it. But right. someone's going to love it. Right. That's what's so you know interesting, what like sitting like sitting next to you guys. Like I'm bugging out. Like I'm listening. Me too, man. And I'm learning. And I'm on yeah. you know, all these different type of things. Because you guys are like two sides of the same coin, man. right? Mm-hmm. Just separated by time, uh-huh. right? Like, right. you know, like you're doing now a lot of the things that Brian was doing in mm-hmm. film. Right. You know, back in the day. But you guys are still both creators. So I'm interested. There's so many people out there with cameras now. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. There's so many people doing sketches and doing bits and doing all this different type of stuff. I'm curious as to what you think <clears throat> about the quality <throat> of what's being put out. And is it possible to still do it like that? Right. Like we were talking off camera. You guys were talking <laughs> about like, is it still possible for somebody to have the kind of career that you've had to like put features out and put mm-hmm. it together or has the game changed or is there even a need for it anymore? Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, you know, like does John need to do a feature? Does he need to do a 90 minute bit or can he continue to create, you know, with five, seven, eight minute like episodes? What's your thought about the current state of how easy it is to create content, mm-hmm. how easy it is to distribute content, the quality of it and the future of it for like, real creatives not people that are just playing right i think it's the most independent friendly time ever right now mm-hmm. you know what i mean right. and i think you you have to keep doing you know what i mean the short content but you also have to make the features mm-hmm. right you have to that's the next step and that's what's going to set you aside right. and um and it's in your blood mm-hmm. you know what i mean and it's just no reason not to right so you don't stop doing what you're doing but you also start making those features. Right. You know what I mean? Um, I think it's uh, necessary and it's just going to, that's what's going to elevate you. And it might take, you know, two weeks, two months, two years, you know what I mean? But they're going to come and say, hey, mm-hmm. come come do that over here with us. And then at that time, you know what I mean? Right. They take it budget-wise to another level. But you always keep doing that. It's the, it's the most independent, friendly time ever. They can't feel... They have to do the streaming. So, like, well, we got to have a streaming. We can't be the only one without streaming. That's where you get the Peacock mm-hmm. right. and, you know, the Crackle and everybody has to have one. But they can't feel that content. 
We doing right. what we do. Mm-hmm. We we can't fill all that space. Right. So they have to find content from creators. Yeah. And so within that, you have to find your thing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You have to find the space and you have to, I'm going to make one feature, mm-hmm. two features a year and put them out on top of my content. You know what I mean? To add to your body of work. Right. You know what I mean? And you have to have the project space. already done. Right, like they're they're looking for projects that are some, yeah, that some, they can yep. literally upload to the yeah. server. Yeah, I mean, you got to think. You know what I mean? Like, um, if if you pitching me to spend my money on something, then you know, I, you know, I'm, I I might have a lot of questions. But if you giving me something that's already done and I can see it, then it's easier for me to say, okay, cool. You ain't you ain't asking me for nothing. You know, take I don't know you. I don't right. know if you're going to spend the money right. I don't know if you're going to make a good film. I don't, You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it takes a whole lot of the suspense out. So it's easy for them to say yes if it's done. You know what right. I mean? Somebody is going to make it and see, you know, people get into one you have to be. When you do it independently, you have to do it for a budget. Right. It's, you know, a lot of people want to get a whole lot of money to shoot it. But you have to understand, like, they can bury a film at any time. Right. And so they they really don't want to see you, you know, win big, you right. know what I mean? And, uh, you know, so because that sort of mixes up <laughs> what mm. they do. Mm-hmm. Right. And so you never want to dig a big hole for yourself. You know what I mean? Right. A lot of people um, overspend on their features. Mm-hmm. And then you have these people offering them yo, something that's a portion of what they spent and they just like stuck. And they're like, no, nah, we ain't taking that. You know, because they heard at the film festival, such and such got $10 million. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, did they? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Did they write them a check for $10 million or mm-hmm. did they say, hey, look, we're going to put $10 million into advertising and into theatrical and mm-hmm. so on and so forth, which mm-hmm. is dope. But, you know, they're not, and especially for us, right. you know what I mean? People of color, be black, you know, it's highly unlikely that they're going to cut a big check for your stuff. Right. Because you black. Mm-hmm. And no, not because yeah. of the content, just because. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you have to be aware of that and make it in a space to where you can make it of quality, um, but you keep the budget minimal. Mm-hmm. That way when they're saying, I don't know, this is all we have, you're like, the nigga, we spent half of that. Yeah. So go ahead and Shoot run it. Too. You're getting over <laughs> on me. You're getting over on me. But this time, you know right. what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So you have to be business minded about it, mm-hmm. knowing that they don't know that I press these up for $10 and they pay me $50 for it. Right. Right. Yeah. And so from there, they keep sending you winning. And then once they keep seeing you consistent, then they don't want you doing nothing without them. So they say, hey, come mm-hmm. do that over here with us. And you go, you do it with them. And you right. take their money yeah. and you make stuff because you're going to always have creative stuff you could do right. on your own. So if they want it, yeah, go, let's do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I think you have to start making the features so that they can see Boom. that you could do it. Because I can see from your... Now, everybody, you know, it's a lot of people creating content that right. you can't do it. You can do it. I've seen your I stuff. I appreciate it, man. You can do it. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. You just have to get the whole, you know what I mean? Yeah. Script, right? Mm-hmm. And you and you can do what you want, how you want, because they don't get it. You know, a lot of time you give somebody a script, they they not going to understand it. Right. You know what I mean? They don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know what I mean? If somebody gave you something about a bar mitzvah, you know, nine times out of ten, you can read it, but there's not going to be any connection. And no room, have you yeah. ever been to a bar mitzvah? No. Well, there you go. Yeah. You know right. what I mean. So mm-hmm. now you're reading this script, and you got to make a decision. And yeah, I mean, it's you don't understand yeah, how good 60, it is, right. right? It's it's brilliant, right? But you yeah. don't know. You ain't never. It's yeah. the funniest you know I mean? bar mitzvah ever. Ever. You don't bro. know because you've you never know. been to one. You don't right. know. You don't know. Right. You, don't, you know. <laughs> you barely know two white people. He yeah. don't even know what they is. Yeah, you Jewish. You're Italian. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Irish. Like you know. Right. And so, so but those. But now you in charge of saying and you you know and your job's on the line. If you get it wrong, you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah I still oh, did this. Wait, and you know what I mean. Yeah. Right. So now if three strikes come through, two, oh, green light. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you got to flip it. So it's a bunch of, you know what I mean, white boys in there or, mm-hmm. or girls or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and and you see, you know, this jive and you going to do the whoop the whoop and they're just like, eh, because it ain't me. So I'm right. like, hell yeah. 
Right. But then it's not me. Right. It's them. They don't know you. Right. They don't know nobody to look like you. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, just the people who they know. You know right. what I'm saying? The, the, the stuff they, and so you asking me to green light this in my job. No, I'm not doing it. Because I don't know nothing about it. Right. Now, when they get that bar mitzvah script that you passed on, they like, oh, man, let's go. Yeah. They just don't know. Right, 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 and right. You can't be sitting and shuffling like in five, 10, 20 minute meeting trying to give them the whole history of the hood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they, I don't know it. You right. know what I mean? I'm not right. going to say that because that's right. embarrassing. Right. But, uh, you know, you ain't going to hear from me when you You're going to go in a different direction. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ain't going right. to hear from me when you hear it. Right. right. right? And so, yeah. and that's that. Nah. And then when you have the few or two black people who do produce under that whatever, right. you know, they want to do their stuff. Mm. They want to do their stuff. Mm. Right? And so... Now I got to share. I don't even know you. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. And so I don't really want to share with you because, you know, a lot of us, that's how we are. I don't want to share with you because I don't know you. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to do my true. idea and keep it all. Own stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it all. Yeah. So I don't know you, man. Yeah. You know what That's, I mean? So man, it's a gems, <laughs> super gems. Gems. Bro. But hey. if you creating and doing stuff and you whatever, then they're going to say, okay, I see you. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nah, man. Um, yes. I heard you saying it makes total sense, and I agree with everything you're saying, bro. Yeah. Um, I just wanna. That's that's dope. I, I, I feel like I'm in school again, man. Yeah. I feel man. like I'm in film school again, <laughs> bro. And I love this, man. This is this is super dope. Um, three strikes. Yeah. Yeah. Three strikes. I'm man. Su I'm surprised that like, cause like. I've got a thousand additional questions. Yeah. <laughs> like I've got a thousand additional now, before I even get to my three strikes questions. Yeah. Right? I know. I feel like I feel like let me just get into these three strikes. Yeah. Man, that's he what said I mean. he was coming for three strikes, right? Like, you know. Right. I said, but man. man. Man, like I'm like, I'm gonna be before you get into mm -hmm. whatever you got to that's say fine. about three strikes, I'm gonna be driving home with the radio off. Like <laughs> just thinking, my my mind is like <laughs> just the, just the yeah. just the radio in the rain. It's raining in LA this week. So we driving home with the radio off in the rain, thinking just about like yeah. thinking of a master. All plan. the all, thinking yeah. of a master plan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. it's 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 so damn dope, bro. Your dick, yeah. You um, you say you you say with three strikes. Shout out to DJ Pooh. Yeah, he, uh, he, mm -hmm. he said he wrote it. Right, mm -hmm. can't believe. It. And um, wrote it and directed it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. And um, and so, did you audition for that or did he know? Yeah, yeah. I think initially, initially, Pooh wrote it with Chris Tucker in mind. See? Right? And so, mm. you know what I mean? They come out with the fire and then Chris Tucker went to the moon. Right. Right? He mm -hmm. was just on the moon. Like, right. the, the cell phone didn't go up. They didn't have no towers on the moon. <laughs> right. yeah, I'm sorry. Chris. I can't hear you, man. I can't hear you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak Right, 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 right. <laughs> and so you know he was working busy. So now I had to open up, and then I went in, man, and I auditioned. And then Pooh, I I think he saw that, you know, this dude was naturally funny uh -huh. without the mugging and the stick. And I think yeah. what you know what I mean because I always try to my stuff to be grounded. You know right. what I mean, right? Um. You know, in, in in a real place, mm -hmm. and I think that's that's maybe I think where I feel what sets me aside from a lot of people. When you know, a lot of comics they just they want to tell a joke every scene. Bruh. How can I mm -hmm. tell a joke, man? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. bro, will you please say what we doing? We setting something up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what right. if I just went right here? I just jumped out and said, "Booger Wolf." Mm -hmm. Like, nah. Booger Wolf. Like, <laughs> this dialogue involved, <laughs> bro. bro. It's a yeah, rhythm. It's a thing happening. That's so funny. And so I think, you know what I mean, it wasn't everybody there trying to, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. just tell a joke, but rather disappear in the character, which, you know, in Three Strikes, I was just sort of just in the mix. It was right. no, to me, it was no, like, but I'm bomb with Rob, you know, boom. It was mm -hmm. just, he was just in these situations, and he was reacting real. Yeah. And I think that's what people resonated with, you nah. know what I'm saying? And Facts. So, yeah, man. And so went in an audition and got the part, and I was ecstatic. You know what I mean? Because you know it was DJ Pooh, right? Um, yeah. You know it was Lee Roll, and um, you know Faison, and and um, and so man, I, I was just on cloud nine, and I um, was I still at CSUN there? 
So I went to Cal State. For real? Mm -hmm. You might have still been in college too? Uh, I think I think that might be when I quit. Mm. I don't need mm -hmm. this. You know, nah. how, how many years were you there for? Four. Four. Yeah. Oh, you was at the four? end. Yeah, I was he was like, ah, I'm cool. Let me yeah, just this is what I'm gonna I be think, doing. Yeah, when I started making money, you know, mom and dad was well, like, well, as long as you're making money, then you good and go back when you finish. And so I've been blessed to continue. I, was in, like, I went yeah. to Northridge. Are you there? Yeah. And they were like, they used to notable alumni. And everybody <laughs> used to say that you went to Northridge. Oh, word, too, right. Word. Like, you know, I got to Northridge in fall of 97. Okay. Right? Like, you know, and so yeah. around the theater department, yeah, some of yeah. the different folks. Yeah. So, yeah. So it, was, so it was a bug out because, like, this is like post, this is pre internet, like, right. you know, so it's yeah. not that. So it's all this this rumor. Right. He, went, he went to Northridge. Right. Like, That's he, crazy. he didn't go to Northridge. He didn't <laughs> right. go, you know, he didn't go no, you know, Northridge. Yeah. Like, you know, right. I, mean, I don't think he went to Northridge, man. <laughs> Northridge. I, I ain't never seen him up here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so, so, yeah. so, so that was. That was the vibe, but like yeah. that's kind of what Northridge could be. Northridge could be a place where like where folks could come in, and it was because it was so close to Hollywood. Yeah. you could spring shot like if it yeah. was yep. if it was music, yeah. if it was yeah. acting. Like yeah. you know, you kind of mm -hmm. went there to maybe figure it out before you bounced, yeah. right? And went someplace yeah. else. It was nah. close enough. Northridge yeah. was the first school that yeah, I got accepted to. Yeah, what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, for sure. Northridge, man, that's dope. Um, <laughs> I got a couple homegirls that I shoot with that are actresses. They went to Northridge. Oh, too. word. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what's up. Um, so uh. That's the I agree. So when I watch when I watch Three Strikes, and I see everybody that's in the film, mm -hmm. I promise you, I was like, he was not supposed. I was like, this this DJ Pool, uh -huh. he probably was expecting Smokey to play this character. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying? Or, or Chris Tucker, not Smokey, but Chris mm -hmm. Tucker to play right. the character. Mm -hmm. um, I love the fact that you that that he, that he didn't. I promise mm -hmm. you, because um, your 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 comedy. I mean, your comedy and your acting is grounded. Mm -hmm. Chris Tucker, we love him because of the, the right. high pitched voice, right. Right. the, mm -hmm. the, right. the yeah, facial yeah. expressions, yeah. all that. <laughs> yeah. That's what he does. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, Rob, Rob's character was so dope because I know Rob. Mm -hmm. I want right, to right, Rob. right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yep. Rob's a yep. regular. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know him from and the block, from, from the I hood. love, and so I, I love Three Strikes so much. I, I, I tell you, I tell my partners, man, it's up there. The ones who don't, who don't really notice the movie, mm -hmm. it's up there with Friday. For sure. Mm. And yeah, I'm not right. just saying that because you're in front of me. I've been saying that for the last 20 years. Right, for right. me and folks, and and, and, and and you can't deny it, look at the cast. Mm. Look at the cast. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody I mean, was everybody was in it. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's funny. Yeah. It's hood. And if you enjoy that type of comedy, which I do, that's my favorite. That's what I do. Hood, mm -hmm. good comedy. Mm -hmm. um, from from T to from T Bird to yeah. uh, <laughs> to pulling up yeah. on the way to go pick the homie up and get sidetracked with a chick walking down with yeah. hell hella yams. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, pick Sorry. the homie up, bro. I'm yeah. tied up right now. Yeah. I got no situation. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yo yo um, was in there in the crib. Yo yo, yeah. it's mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? T Bird, man. <laughs> I can yeah. quote this whole film, bro. Right. Um, Yo Yo was in it. Faison, who's Big Worm, four or five years yeah. prior. Yeah. So uh, he plays a great villain, mm -hmm. a great cool ass villain yeah. that you love. Yeah. Um, I love Big Worm. I love Tone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, and your character, and I had never seen you before. Mm -hmm. And so when I see you. <clears throat> no, that's not true. I seen Fat Beach. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, I you you just you I never seen you in th this film. Was like. So dope to me. This yeah. is uh, this is. Yeah. I watched it. I got I got the DVD. You know what I'm saying? And uh, mm -hmm. I said, bro. And my one of my favorite. I can't say my favorite scene. I got so many of them. Yeah. When you uh, I did a reenactment uh, to oh, yeah, the yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah. put it out yet. But a reenactment when you get home and uh, oh yeah, okay and okay. Like, Where have you been? Where have you been? Right, yeah, oh, hold yeah, on, yeah, I'm a yeah, grown ass man. You yeah. can bop. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, when I first saw that, it caught me off guard. I know she was gonna slap me. Mm -hmm. I said she OD. Yeah, she's uh, tripping. Yeah, and then she hopped. I'm gonna call the police. Now. Right, I'm gonna call yeah. You hit me. What? Right, I didn't even say nothing yeah. yet. And then hello, officer. Hello, right, yeah. Yeah, man. I said, bro, this dude's hilarious. <laughs> I promise you, I, I I expected this. This is after. Uh, I'm saying this after you already explained to me uh -huh. your whole trajectory, right, right, his career. Right, right. I'm thinking, oh, this the next. He gonna be where Chris Tucker's at. He's mm -hmm. gonna be where Tommy Davis is. He's gonna be the next Kevin Hart before mm -hmm. Kevin Hart was Kevin Hart. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, now I understand. 
Mm-hmm. I, I've, I've heard so many stories about the industry mm-hmm. and this this uh, relationships are the lack thereof, depending yeah. on who, mm-hmm. who you are. Mm-hmm. It could be clickish, it could be, you know what I'm saying, but the talent was there. Mm-hmm. You, you smashed in uh, Soul Plane. You smashed oh, on, yeah. the, uh, on, on uh, uh, what'd you say? Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, I was yeah, like, this dude yeah, is hilarious, yeah. bro. Um, and, and the fact that you could play the straight man, you could play super goofy. Mm-hmm. And you could play a regular leading man. Mm-hmm. I thought that was dope. I That's thought that. Up, and um, a, a lot of times, Chris Tucker's character, Smokey, came off as a character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, not a real if, person. If Craig wasn't there, would he be able to be the guy that we want to see all day? Right. 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 He was right. so great because he played off that straight man. Right. right. You were both, in my mm-hmm. opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, um, I, I love, and, and on top of that, his hood. I rem- yeah, I, I'm yeah. from, I'm from, yeah. I'm from yeah, I grew yeah. up on 94th of Vermont. You know what I mean? So, right. like, I, I understand where the homies, like, the was logic is like, bro, you let the homie on something. No, no nigga, he. Right, right. <laughs> He's trying to let me off on the police, right, nigga. Right. I got two strikes. Right, right. I don't right. care, nigga. Right, right. Let the homie on. <laughs> What you mean yeah. don't care? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. And so yeah. everything from Winky Time, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> With the the dude. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just Dave Allen Greer's character, DJ yep. Poole as a yeah. newscast. It's just yeah. All right, DJ Poole. Come yeah. on, man. Right. Where your sister at? <laughs> <laughs> Where your sister at? Where your, where oh, your sister oh. at? <laughs> yeah. We know that dude. Hilarious. It's Hilarious. a dude right now, man. Shout out to my boy, uh, watch homie Quan and his partner, and uh, my partner too, mm-hmm. Boomer, man. I don't know this dude named Boomer. Mm-hmm. He, he, if you look, if you see Boomer, <laughs> and yeah, whether he wants to accept this or not, he reminds <laughs> a lot of niggas of DJ Pooh. That's hilarious. And he's funny as hell. Another Word. funny actor, dude. He's from the hood. Right. Um, but like he's like DJ Pooh is is this just looking at him makes you laugh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. And the, just the, uh, the, the yeah, ball hilarious. of talent. And shout so out to DJ when I Poole. shout out to DJ Pooh for sure. I'd love yeah. to have him on the show one day. Mm-hmm. But um, man, mm-hmm. Three Strikes is a, a hidden gem. It's a it's a classic t- to me and a lot of people I know. Um, even so, there's a lot of people I know who hasn't really don't are not familiar with the film. Mm-hmm. And why do you think that was? It was written and directed by DJ mm-hmm. Pooh, who was who's the creator of mm-hmm. Friday. Mm-hmm. Now I know there's um a lot of the in Friday they were um Phase on Love wasn't Phase on yet. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, uh, and, neither no, was oh, and nobody was you know right. But Ice Cube was Ice Cube through the roof. Yeah, yeah. he was so, Ice Cube. From so the music, so yeah. if I could ask um if if you know. What do you? Why do you think that Three Strikes five years later didn't hit as big as Friday? I think it was uh, simply Three Strikes was shot independently. Okay, right. It was an independent money, and then MGM came on board. Okay, um, and I think it's just a different energy when um, a studio releases a film, and that was New Line. It was great to release Friday. That's what they did. Mm-hmm. When you you talk about what happened to those type of films. Those were all New Line films. You know, mm-hmm. Rush Hours, yep. all through New Line. Yep. Somebody there got it. Or they got it enough to bring some mm. some some folks in, some niggas in who who knew. Right. Right. And that was their niche and that's what they was building off of. So I say that to say, I think the difference was there was um there was a muscle behind Friday, a studio muscle, to where they were liable. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like the loss was theirs. Mm-hmm. Within our film Friday, you know, the loss was, you know, you know, three rich men who weren't in the business. And so we acquired this film and we're gonna put our name on it and put it out. But they wasn't liable for it. Wasn't, yeah. So it wasn't anything. important to them to push it, it and, wasn't, and make sure it did right. what it was supposed it wasn't to do. Push. Yeah. Nobody was gonna lose their job. It was, you know, it was just that's, whatever see, came that's it was a lot gravy. of gravy. So I think um, a lot of it was that the you know what I mean the push um, because you know the you know and so it was you know people who knew the film knew the film and they and they loved the film mm-hmm. they loved Friday and they loved Three Strikes Man. you know what I mean yeah. Yeah. and and I you know in my opinion it was just the you know it not being the studios. Baby, baby, mm-hmm. right? That's opposed cool to something that they was just setting a lap to wear. That's a lot of you know things I mean? people don't take account of yeah. when it comes to business behind. Yeah. So, like for example, I've had a conversation with folks like, "You put it on a level of Friday." I'm like, "Yes, nigga. Like, yeah. watch <laughs> the film. Look at yeah. the actors in the film. It's yeah. it's, 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 it's a Monique, lot of actors. 
Monique. These, these, are, these are these are Hall of Fame. Yeah. Uh, Mike Epps had it in E yeah. forty. I'm like, yeah. what See, are we talking yeah. about? But, but, but big boy, but big boy, he's being on hit on the radio. You get so man. many, yeah. you get so many people that don't know, understand the business of it. And, and I'm even one of them at one point in time. I, I get it now, mm -hmm. even before you say that, I'm like, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But at one point in time, I'm like, why the hell did this, did this mm -hmm. not do nothing? But see, like, I liken it to like, to like the Judd Apatow camp, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because they should kind of started a little bit independent too. Mm -hmm. It was their own little like click. They was doing super bad. Mm -hmm. They was doing all of these films, mm -hmm. all of that, all of that Seth Rogen shit that, yeah. that he mm -hmm. was doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They was all like off brand, kind of doing their stuff, but like the studio kind of got behind them. Right. There was like a cultural renaissance with the stuff that Brian was doing, mm -hmm. DJ Pooh, et cetera. There were people that that had they they finger on the pulse of what was funny. Right. Mm -hmm. But this is before the net and before stuff has to, a chance to go social and viral. So like discovery was pretty difficult, right? Mm -hmm. right? Like, you mm -hmm. know, so discovering that something was out there, right. if it didn't have a giant name yeah. attached yeah. to it, it nobody no, like, knew. like, social media right. as a shortcut for something to get mm -hmm. high. It was yeah. either you had a lot of TV yep. ads, yep. you had a lot of radio ads, mm -hmm. you had a lot of, you know, print ads or not, which is millions and millions and of some, dollars. And some of our yeah. classics, like, especially as we go through mm -hmm. on this podcast and we watch all of these movies, a lot of them got their rebirth in DVD and rental. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of them were not box office Killers. successes. Mm -hmm. right. But like they word of mouth got passed around through like right. the home entertainment, you know, marketplace. Right. That's how I first came across Three Strikes. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the fucking dorms at Northridge. Yeah. You right. know what I mean? Like, you know, and there was a there was a collection of movies right. that, that we could watch while we was drinking. Cause that's I was in weird shit. Um <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> we was, so like but like while we was drinking and hanging and it was one of those films that like Bruh. we that was a one of those VHS rotation pieces. We watched it in the dorms right? every day. It was in rotation. Niggas playing they was a, <laughs> yeah. they was playing 2K and he was watching Three Strikes <laughs> yeah. Friday, Belly. But I don't remember it being in the theater. That's, that's what I'm saying. But, but that's a byproduct yeah. of marketing and advertising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in the theater. That's a byproduct yeah, of marketing and advertising, right? Right. Yeah. How long was it in the theater? Maybe not yeah. that yeah. long. Though, huh? I don't even remember Friday being in the theater, to be honest, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I think the first time yeah. I saw Friday was on VHS. It was because yeah. my mom would let me see it. Yeah, my, like a lot yeah. of these movies, <laughs> the first time I saw them was, was yeah. when they got released to DVD. Right. And then, of course, like we're movie buffs. So, like, I'll go to the black to the blockbuster at the time and be like, what is this? Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. I'm grabbing it. I don't even know, but it's black people on the cover. Right. I'm the fucking cover with it. The cover was just fire with the with the handcuffs. Yeah, yeah. 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 I said, oh, I'm watching this, man. So, like I thought she it was some Richard Pryor shit. Yeah. yeah, you know, I was like, okay, this is gonna be. It funny. was just such a dope movie, man. I know. Uh, uh, I this, I can't say enough about the film, bro. I could break yeah. it down for it. I just thought <laughs> it was dope. Uh, how how long did it take to make it? Thirty days. Thirty days. Thirty days a, 30 days a month. month. Yeah, a oh, month we shot. Yeah, yeah, all around L.A. You know, with Pooh at the helm. Pooh's a genius, man. Yeah. 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 So, um, you know, and I, and I was just, I was so locked in. Yeah. Because I knew what it could be. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, um, you know, just with everybody coming in from the Moniques to, you know, Faison, Big Worm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was just, it was just a blessing to be a part of it, man. So it was, uh, it was dope, man. Yeah. It was a dope experience. What's your favorite memory from, from shooting the film? <clears throat> My favorite memory from shooting the film, we were running in Long Beach mm -hmm. and uh, Cliff, I don't know if y'all know, Cliff used to, uh, Cliff used to be a dancer. It's actually Cliff and uh, Mike Epps, are cousins, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> Cliff was my man. So he was a little, he wasn't really, he was a little chubby. Mm -hmm. He was a little chubby. And so we were running all day. <laughs> <laughs> he was so excited because he got to be one of the cops, one of the extras. So he was running, 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 running all through Long Beach, helicopter, whatever. It did so it's rap, you know, at the end of the day, all here. Fire truck. Ambulance. This nigga fat ass that ran himself. Almost out. to death. <laughs> he done almost ran himself <laughs> to death. Yeah. Literally. He had, and he, he don't want out. us to see. Mm -hmm. Cause he know we gotta come back. We got about another week and a half. We're gonna be on your ass. Yeah. And you almost died, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You almost died. Silent heart attack. Put that tweaky down, yeah. man. Right, right, right. <laughs> and so it was just funny because one, he was embarrassed. <laughs> 
and didn't want us to see it was him. <laughs> but it was just like, yo, I'm not feeling good. He probably wanted to be car taken in a car to the whatever. Nah, mm-hmm. nigga. Fire trucks, ambulance. They had to carry his big ass off. And that, that was hilarious. That's funny. <clears throat> see, how much was <clears throat> certain scenes was uh, was on the script that all your all I live. <clears throat> Um, sense, like, it was definitely Pooh had the story in lock, but yeah. the way Pooh is like, okay. Hey, so you gonna um once you come in here and then you <laughs> what you think you would say? Yeah. Hey, yeah. but would it would be funny if you said and then we was just yeah, figuring yeah, yeah. it out on the fly with Pooh's ideas, uh-huh. my ideas. And then it just, it just. Well, uh, when he was like, hey, put, hey, put your, hey, what the fuck you doing with your hands? They can put your hands to your motherfucking side. That, I think me and Face on. Me and Face on. That sounds like some shit that he would come yeah. over here. Yeah. yeah. Me and Face on just came up with and that. And that's the hood, the nigga. Spot. Mm-hmm. The homies be like, hey, bro, hey, you trying to explain <clears throat> yourself away? Hey, bro, I, it's not even like that, bro. I'm saying, I came over and you, yeah. hello, nigga, what's you with your hands? Right, right. Put your hands down, my nigga. Right. Yeah, you getting right. too bold, bro. Right, right. right. I was right. saying, man. I just, right. You know, they, they can just go limp. You like, start fucking uh, with the plan, yeah, nigga? Right. Then you nervous. Said, the nerve, the new yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. And take it off. Out. I've seen niggas, I promise you, I got a, I got a homie named Roy. <laughs> he took off out of fear. Right. And we was like, why'd he hit this? Right, right, right. Yeah. They packed him out right. in the bathroom. Right. Like, right. How'd you hit it? He was like, bro, I thought they was about to, I knew they was about to jump on me, man. So right. I just, 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 just took America. one. Swing and the homie the was fence. like, and the dude I knew, the bully nigga, mm-hmm. the blood nigga, he was like, bro, we wasn't even going, we was just going to sweat. He was, was pressing nigga because he was talking to the nigga homegirl mm-hmm. and we was asking him what he did. Yeah. They wasn't even going to do nothing to him, but, <laughs> but they but they known for jumping on niggas. Mm-hmm. Right. He just thought that he was about <laughs> to be one of them dudes. He fired. <laughs> And sock them out yeah, out yeah. of fear. Yeah. And this dude don't fight. Yeah. Oh. He's not a fighter like that. Sound like kid from House Party. Like yeah. Rob. Right. Like, like Rob. He was like, <laughs> like Rob. Uh-huh. At, at fight or flight. He was yeah. like, Wow. Hey, so you, in right. 2000, now I'm in college. I'm like, this is me of the homie Roy. Right. Mm-hmm. And when right. he just fired on the dude right. and got beat up. And I and think it, that was the connection. See, like, Pooh poo from that. Yeah. Right? So mm-hmm. Pooh done seen, had known all those. Experience and I think Pooh, you know, Three Strikes is probably a script that the studio never could have understood. Right. They never could have understood right. or got it because they never, what you just said, that's foreign yeah, to them. That's foreign to you them. You know what I mean? So all that's so that, relatable. Yeah. All that was yeah. was there, and everybody has a friend or a homie, or it was, yeah. it was them, or they did that, and they can mm-hmm. re, they can they can relate. And so that's why it was just, you know what I mean? Everybody like really, it's, the movie mm-hmm. is personal mm-hmm. for folks. I got know. homies that wouldn't give you a ride because they riding dirty. Right. Yeah, the homie like, nah, I homie, you can't, you can't, you can't get in. We got right. in the trunk, homie. Right, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. when they said no, nah, you knew. Oh, okay, yeah. oh, okay. okay. Was, right. Are you, yeah. are you on the Avalon? Nigga, let me. No, 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 no. no, 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 no you good, nigga, man. You good, man. Right, right, right. No, your mama be your mama. Tell my mama that. I'm saying that's foreign to a lot of people. You know what I mean? Right, right. So, quick deviation. Mm-hmm. Usually on these podcasts, we do we you know we go through all the different scenes in the movies and da da da, and then we kind of get to the awards. Mm-hmm. So with you being here, I'm curious if we ask Brian some of these awards from his experience, right? Right. right. So one of the awards that we give away for each film that we review is the most valuable player, the MVP. MVP. Mm-hmm. From your perspective, who's the MVP of Three Strikes on camera? Yeah, on camera. How, on camera. From, from our because you're 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 from you. Not only yeah, were you the yeah. actor, but you also mm-hmm. was there for the backstage and yeah. BTS and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And you know how it all yeah. moves. But yeah. from our point of view, we just watching it. Yeah. Unless you unless you want him to answer I'm, from him. I'm yeah. curious as to whatever you know, however he you, wants to approach you know, the answer. Um, man, I, honestly, dog, and not even trying to be, I would say Rob only because I think his. His suckiness, like his vulnerability, he was mm-hmm. like he was just, it's just, it, you Whoa. know, it was just so like, you know, and he was in this maze of great, interesting characters from even, even, you know, I, I would want to say forty with the lingo, yeah. you know what I mean, oh, and, 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 and yeah. the barbershop, and it was just such a maze. But I think because he was so, you know what I mean. He was so Roy, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. that. It it just mm-hmm. it just made for a great ride because you know what I mean. Like this is a punk. They like I yeah, love you know how. What I, mean? I wonder how Rob. <clears throat> 
got two strikes. Nigga, what yeah. do you, right. you don't seem like a two stripe nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? Probably, probably, probably riding with them niggas. Right. They, they just tell like, yeah, we just, yeah, I'll take you, I'll take you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's how, fuck, the that's how fucked up shit. the law was. Right. Yeah. That, like, you know, because because one of the things mm-hmm. about three strike, that's to, to put a serious tone on a on a on a comedic movie. Mm-hmm. But we, I remember three strikes being a thing. Yes, yeah. right. and it was a big deal for DJ Pooh, too. It was a too. big deal. Because yeah. at the time, mm-hmm. it's like you said, you could steal a slice of pizza. And be done. And be, and that'd be, three. And be done. So the you know consequences, what I mean? it's crazy. Right. the consequences, right. you know, were, were, were super high. And they were just being young or just doing, you know, like dumb, shit. dumb shit. You know young what I mean? Shit. Catching young fucking shit. felons. Yeah. yeah. You I, know, stealing yeah, candy so. with money yeah. in your pocket. Yeah. So. Felony. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? I was the king of that, bro. <laughs> yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, had eighteen dollars in my pocket. Yeah. Still in I'm now still later. In, I'm still in twenty dollars worth of mm. shit. Right. <laughs> eighteen dollars in my pocket. Right. Could you? Is there an LVP, the least valuable person, <clears throat> actor, now, you know, always, character? We always, and we always bring this because mm. we're not we're not attached to anybody on the right, film. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, they could have went. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we could have lost. Meaning it. like uh we did uh, we'll do some shit. We did uh class act at one point in time. <laughs> and um if you if you remember the movie, there's a movie yeah. where Paulie Shore is in the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we could have like, done without it. We could have done without it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved his scene. I mm-hmm. love his but mm-hmm. uh, people say like, yeah, we didn't we didn't need him in the movie at all. Right. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? So I don't know if there's a way I don't know if you feel comfortable saying that I know we got you on the spot, but yeah. Let me think. Uh, I mean, you know, everybody, and plus I knew them. That's what so I'm I saying. Yeah. Fans, all the that's not fit. It's kind of yeah. even all the if I'm fit. not attached, yeah. I'm attached. Right, right. So mm-hmm. yeah, you know don't even worry about it. Yeah, because every mm-hmm. every I'm even thinking you know to the lady at the beginning um, that got to, not at the I'm beginning sure. when she came into the police department and she was like, oh, right, 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 right. Oh, you know what I'm oh, saying? Like oh, she's yeah. she's important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. We, we, we Melanie Camacho. Yeah, uh-huh. people love that. Exactly. Scene. Like Melody. that shit got like 3.8 million views yeah. on my page right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, You know what I mean? Just right, right, right. Yeah. right but right. that's that's it, why the a, movie is so dope you know what to me mean? because there's All no these little jewels. There's no scenes where I'm like, mm, what to do that right. for? Even what's the name? You got a head hit over the bottle at the yeah, at a, a, right a, at a the T-bird. Top. Yeah, T-bird. Hey man, yeah. I don't know what to call you. Wow. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? All the all the pieces matter right? because right after that, he gets home to his girl. Hey, hey, somebody call. Yeah, somebody call for me. <laughs> he just call. yeah, yeah. Who? Mm-hmm. T-bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh well. Even thick of smacks walking down the street. You can't yeah. even say it because everybody love man, that scene, that and then she doing man. the dance. Yeah, the it's, chicken strip. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I know what they yeah. own that club. Yeah. That's crazy. Chuck? Yeah. yeah. Chuck. Was, so, any, yeah. was anybody, was any character, like I'm trying to think of like how we like ask the overacting award, mm-hmm. right? Like, you <laughs> yeah. know, like, and, it, cause, ooh, and, ooh, and ooh, I certainly ooh, don't want ooh, you to, to call out any colleagues, but was there any character that was just hella over the top that even you are, even you were like, man, we should, we should dial this one back. Like this, this character is off the chain. Hmm. Oh no! I don't, hey, I'm a kid. Yeah. Here's so. the thing: if he so. wasn't here, and I was, because sometimes we, yeah. we don't even have a guest, or we have a guest that's mm-hmm. not attached to the film. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to think, like, who? I honestly, maybe DJ Pooh. Yeah, because he, when we say overact, overacting, I, I loved his character. I loved mm-hmm. every scene he was in, mm-hmm. but uh, with the glasses and yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no, there's never been a, a newscaster <laughs> that silly, that mm-hmm. silly right. looking in it. Right. Oh, uh, what's going on? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's probably right, DJ right, Pooh. Right. You know what I'm saying? But right. you know what? I'm a nuanced dude. So right. there's a scene where he's talking to uh, Dave Allen Greer and, and, and he snatches the mic from him. And he's <laughs> and he's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. That's, that's brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. That's said, Pooh. Yeah. yeah. That's Pooh. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. He said, it's, I it's, thought it's, that's so funny. He didn't have it. That's all I can say. Mm hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's ge- that's genius you know to me, saying? bro. Small it. shit For like real. that. I love it. Is why I was like, a lot of yeah. people might overlook that little piece. Yeah. That that piece, I yeah, man. Mm-hmm. I yeah. what's the grandfather supposed to be on the couch? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, I'm jumping yeah. around. But like when you get, oh, you just a goddamn yeah. lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That that's hilarious. Yeah. I was like, he just yeah. a grandfather randomly on the cot on the on the couch, yeah. and just knocked out. Yes, man. Yeah, dude. David Allen Greer. 
This bro, Crazy. I'm not gonna take your whole damn day like I want to. Mm. I know we normally do like an hour worth of, of mm. podcasting, and most of this is getting to know you mm-hmm. as a as a creator. And I'm and I'm that I, this made my day, bro. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, happy to be. Here, I know bro. normally we break down the we break down the plot, the characters, mm-hmm. and, and and the most memorable memorable scenes in the yeah. film. And mm-hmm. I'll have you here all day. Yeah. And I, I'm not gonna do yeah. like that as much yep. as I want to. Uh, yep. Um, but so. And we might even do a second episode with just breaking down the film. Mm-hmm. And exactly. you don't have to be here for that unless yeah. you want to. Yeah, man, but, uh, listen, man. Well, I'll come back. When I mean, you come back. If you, if you mean that and, and, it's, yeah, and it's, I mean, it's cool, yeah, yeah. for sure. I'm, I'm, I would love that. So we can actually break down the film. Yeah. But, uh, but I mean, shit. I'd love to to have you even break down some of your, your favorite movies outside of movies that you've been in. Boom. Right? right? right. Like, you know, like, you right. know, you just watch them like we watch right. them. Yeah, you know, Money Talks was yeah. a big one for me. Come on, man. Right. Yes, yeah, sir. Come on, man. Sign talks. it. Come on, man. Contract. Money Talks. Come on, come, you got to come do it. Money Talks with us then. Word. If you down. Yeah, I'm down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, that shit sure. right there. Yeah. Nah, bro. Yeah. I'm saying, what comes the fall? <laughs> man. <laughs> That's it, bro. I just... It, I love this shit, bro. And they don't make <laughs> films like that no more. And mm-hmm. what are the, whoever was whoever got it at New Line, like yeah. where is he at or she at or where yeah. they at? Well, yeah. uh, if, you know, yeah. if if I was listening, you know, it sound like both of y'all is, just are just going to continue to make them, right? Yeah. Right? Like, right? That like we not really, wait, really. we not waiting on yeah. gatekeepers, right? We are not waiting to get chose. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. make it, we build consistency, and then they have to fuck with us. That's yeah, the message right. that and I those, got. Those movies always made money, and they stopped making them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And it's it's crazy because, <laughs> you know, um, I won't say his name, but a big, big, big studio that did a lot of big stuff. And, uh, you know, you know, older, you know what I mean, white gentleman and and my man was close and whatever with him. And he, he, he was just, you know, he... You know, he wanted he wanted them old racists. You know what I mean? Who like he don't even mean nothing by some of the shit he say. Yeah. Like you, you, you know what I mean? It's, right. it's enough for you to take off on him, but you know, like he yeah. he genuinely don't. He know just he just why used, that's offensive. He used color. That's what it's right. But yeah. but but he just said we just don't like doing stuff with you guys. We know it can make mm. money. Mm-hmm. We know Damn. that it works, but we just don't want to work with you guys. Mm-hmm. And that was his friend. Like, they friends. Like, they, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but he said the shit that nobody was saying. Say, yeah. You well, know what I mean? So, yeah. so whether it's, what... it's that or whether it's someone who just, I just don't get it. And right. I'm, I'm, I'm being graded off of the success of the things I pick. So I'm not going to pick a bar mitzvah. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I mean? Um, and, it, and it leaves us in a tough position. And they only have a few of us in there at a time doing shit, you know right. what I mean? And most of those folks, they want to elevate and spin to the biggest stuff and that leaves this this blank space to where we don't get the Fridays and the money talks and the, yeah. you know what I mean? And the things like that, which are much, much needed. You know yeah. what I mean? Much, much needed, yeah, man. Sure. And it's just, it's just a, it's just a gap that's left mm-hmm. that, you know what I mean? We got to feel that gap, feel. brother Hooks. We got to feel. We got to feel that gap, man. Gotta you gotta, well, you've been feeling it. Mm-hmm. We gonna, I'm, I'm yeah. trying to get yeah. to the point where I'm, I, I'm, I'm contributing to the gap feeling or, of the, that type of uh, yeah, cinema man. that we that we love so yeah, much. Yeah, man, you got to do you got to do your film, dog. Yes, sir. You got to go bullshit. Absolutely. You got to do it. Push Absolutely. that shit out. You know yeah. what I mean? Or mm-hmm. find a writer mm-hmm. that you know, you know what I mean, that can do it while you doing what you need to do if you're too busy. But you right. got to get the first draft out mm-hmm. and commit to it being horrible. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And then from there, I promise you, once there's something you could touch, then you'll start to, it'll all start to open up. But you got to get past wanting and thinking it to be perfect. Right. When you, yeah. when you write it, dude. Yes, sir. Punch that shit out. Indeed, brother. <sighs> yeah. Shit. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Uh, on that note, bro, thank you. Yeah, thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, this is a treat, and this is a uh, my homeboys know. Yeah, like, I'm, they, they, <laughs> mm-hmm. they, I'm getting text messages like, "Bruh, you know what I'm saying?" I told them I was, you know, what I'm yeah. saying, interviewing you and had you on the show, dude. So, that's yeah. what, oh, I just know when when this when this drops, all the homies are like, "Bro." Man, this is I'm happy for you, bro. Yeah. How was he, dog? Hey, cause they Dude, love you. You know what I'm saying? Right. When we were ideating about this podcast, we were just like developing the idea, and we're talking about the different movies. Dude, you said three strikes, 
was one of the first movies. And then you might have said it or you might have said it. And I think we could get him on the show. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm remembering this exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it, but it sounds like, because we're bouncing off a of different, we're talking about mm -hmm. who we might know, who, who we might be able to connect right. with. But Three Strikes was on your list from right. day one. Day one. And right, him as man. a guest was on your list from day one. Yes, so indeed. Mission right. accomplished. Hey, That's what's Absolutely, up, Absolutely, man. man. Uh, this is true. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, and it's good to see, and even things I've, I thought I knew already to get things confirmed mm -hmm. by someone that, somebody that's been in the industry for this long mm -hmm. and um and knows the, and, and the way you break it down is so smooth and it's so easy to understand. Mm -hmm. Very easy you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. definitely uh, it's a pleasure, bro. Word. Thank you so much, man. Man, for sure, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Pleasure being here. I'll be back one day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, man. Thanks yes, again. Yeah, I'll come back for, for sure. sure. Yeah. So, Man, this is a <laughs> this is an interesting podcast because we didn't break it down. We didn't black bust down a three strikes like we wanted to, but I had to had to spend the time <laughs> to talk to the big homie man and get the game. Wow. Uh, One quick question, yes, sir. So we didn't black bust down the pot. Was that a pause? Like, could you have said pause? Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> pause it. Hey, you can always, bro. Yeah. You always pause it. And even if you pause, you, oh, it, you can, it can be an over pause. Yeah. It's still cool. Okay. This shit, this shit reminds you, you used to play BB Bridges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm listening like yeah. I'm playing BB Bridges. Right, right, right. Every and that's how that it, gets, it gets to the point where yeah. it gets so convoluted. You yeah, don't know right. you uh, pause. Yeah, right. <laughs> you get it out the way. Pause. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? Right. <laughs> Using words like bust yeah. down yeah. and all that. Yeah. Bust it down pause. black. I was like, did he say BB Bridges? Like, you know, right. I'm ready right. to fire on you. Nah. <laughs> Pause. Yeah, pause, pause indeed, man. Uh, what did I say? Man, what did I, what did I say? Man, you get mad. What did I say? What, uh, you you yeah. get mad. You said bubble gum. Yeah. No, I did. Yeah. Yes, you did. I, I did. Yeah. Oh, my fault, man. My, my yeah. bad, bro. I didn't mean to yeah. hit you. Oh, you, you socked over yeah. saying my bad. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, my bad. This is this is dope, man. Uh, we might we might end up doing uh three strikes again mm -hmm. and breaking down the film uh, in its entirety. Uh, but we can still do the do the uh the black fist. Yeah, pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and for we have uh the five fist is the the movie's a classic, and the um one fist is like why they make this film. Mm -hmm. And this gets a a hundred percent five fist. For That's me. what's up. Bro. Yes, indeed, bro. That's from the acting, up. from the storyline, from the uh from this to cast I, I think you were a great Rob Douglas word, uh, word. George Wallace nigga we ain't even talking oh, about yeah. come on bro yeah. this is the yeah. I, mean, for, yeah. I mean part two part two yeah. man part yeah, two yeah, yeah. 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 bro this Easy. is a great it's, it's a great film I, I, it's a treat to be able to uh, talk to you about this man Thank word you. man once again for sure yes sir yes sir my oh, man I am Big Ja yeah I'm undertone undertone I'm undertone along with our special dope ass guest brother Brian Hooks and thank you all for tuning in. Catch us next week, man. Uh, next episode, I should say. Be good or be good at it. We 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 out of here, man. Three strikes, Brian Hooks, hey. Undertone, Big Job. Be good. Be out. Pew to the max. <laughs>